My name is John Moorhead. I'm from Berks County, Pennsylvania. Well, I got into motorcycles just ripping dirt bikes as a kid with friends, never had one. And then I bought a bike off my buddy when I was like 15 and my mom made me sell it the next day. As soon as I got my license, I bought another bike, Hondas, cafes, all that. And pretty much since then, I've been cutting and taking them apart, rebuilding them, that kind of thing. But heavily modifying from like the frame up kind of stuff. Uh, the past like two years I've been doing that. This is a 1977 Harley XLT Sportster. Got it in pieces. It was like motor was in a stand, the frame was naked. A lot of cool stuff that came with it, a lot of cool extra stuff and I ended up just trading and selling as much as I could and then I wound up with this Springer and that's what really initiated the style I was going for. I was shooting to build a 70s party bike. I wanted little subtle things that while you're looking at it, you, like it all kind of comes together. And so that's why I got like the zigzag man points cover. I got the kicker pedal you can smoke weed out of. The Dave man painting on the battery box with like two naked chicks and a guy doing blow floating through outer space on a mirror. Um, I got the roach clip valve stem caps, the joint stitched onto the seat, and then I have these sweet little like weed nugget cast in resin that screws on to the, hold the seat on. I wanna thank Bubba, my painter, Vintage Groove Technologies, he is Definitely played like one of the biggest parts in this build. Paint was a big surprise. I wouldn't call it a setback. It was more so just a surprise. Um, originally the bike was supposed to be like cream and with like little brown accents. We were shooting for like the end of a cigarette after you smoked it, like the filter. But we once we ended up spraying it and with like the paints we got, it just, it looked like a creamsicle. So then we scrambled and ended up, we didn't have time to reorder new stuff. So we wound up with this and I couldn't be happier with, I'm the last person who would say, let's paint it yellow, but I fucking love it. So, uh, so some parts I love, there's a whole bunch on here, but just to start the, the throttle is like an eBay throttle, like a $30 th eBay throttle, seven eighths off like a dirt bike, but it's got this cool little window in there. Showed up anodized and lame, so I stripped the anodized, polished it, and now it's got like this cool little window. You can see like the throttle mechanism work uh, for these weird, wacky 70s, seven eighths bars. I love the grips. I got the grips from some website that had some transparent brown with, uh, grips. I mean, the headlights, I got those off uh, some obscure restoration website. They're repop, like knucklehead turn signals or something, panhead, but they're like marker lights. This auxiliary headlight is a lowbrow headlight with a Harley fog light lens bulb in it just happened to fit perfect. I never built something to this extent, but it's very cool. The guys back in the 70s with what they were working with, with no Google, no YouTube. I mean, YouTube taught me everything on this bike. And to imagine doing it without any guidance, just kind of winging it, doing everything 10 times instead of just three times or something, it's crazy to think about, but yeah, learned a ton. Uh, Long John Chopper Co. on Instagram, you can find me there. Uh, yeah, it's all Chopper content. 